the way carry people they come Niger, can't go back to Dubai as one woman been day labor. Federal government don't form committee to work out palliative for media and creative industry. And Nigerian airports go still day close for additional four weeks. NTDC don't confirm 2,950 cases of COVID-19 for inside Nigeria. Good evening and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is not time with a young YouTube as it take happen. My name is Adati Owukwe. Inside the first story where we carry come, we have say one airplane now where we say been carrying Niger people where they come back from United Arab Emirates. Now we have say the plane come turn back to UAE because to so one woman been get belly and she be one born. The chairman of Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, that's now Abike W. Erewa, now you come out come they tell news to we people. Uh, to repersing will be a biome akimbola on Wednesday. According by her, the woman naka fired a muscle and na she been born picking last last inside one hospital for inside Dubai. As matter CB, she talks to the Nigerian embassy now inside UAE don't already call the woman. W Rewa can talk say to the 25 other passengers now been they inside plane and say they don't enter another plane and they don't enter Muritala Mohammed International Airport for Lagos by 7 o'clock this evening. And for inside another story where we still carry come, Obonge government now don't create 14-man committee where BCD will bring out ideas of how to reduce the effect of this coronavirus for where news to people day and the creative industry. Minister of Information and Culture, that's Nalai Mohamed, Nain Komatko announced this one on Wednesday for Inside Abuja when he been a do meeting with members of broadcasting organization. As the matter still be, plus including Independent Broadcasting Association of Nigeria, now they all of them take do meeting. And for Inside Another Tori where we carry come, Nigerian airports now go still day closed for an additional four weeks. As the matter has to be, Chairman of the Presidential Task Force for COVID-19 and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, that's Nabot Mustafa, Nine Comat Kondi announced this one on Wednesday for inside their daily briefing of the Task Force for inside Abuja. Still on top of this matter, in talks say this extension now will start from Thursday, will be May 7th, 2020. The SGF now come out constantly talk say the additional four weeks. Now sake of how things be for inside the country and the advice where BC them get from experts. The SGF still come out constantly talk say today they mark 100 days since where BC the first case of coronavirus day inside Nigeria and say government now they make better effort to contain the spread of the virus. They still come out constantly talk say them Reduce, as then reduce lockdown, say Nigerians never still understand the nature of COVID-19. And this one now can they make the number of cases to the increase for the country. Then second, they tell state governors to align their plan for the movement of Alamajiri, where we say the president they already banned interstate movement. In second, they talk, talk on top of support for national efforts to fight coronavirus. They say independent national electoral commission, that's na INEC, say they don't approve 20 additional motto for presidential tax force on top COVID-19. In the comments, they talk say the 20 additional motto where we say them release, now tax force being asked for and for Sokoto State to help movement of medical workers. And this now 160 motto where we say INEC don't release and according to national commissioner and Chairman for Information and Voter Education Committee, that's Nafesto Sokoe. In Comat Contour, say INEC now go continue to do work with agencies and stakeholders to fight COVID 19 for inside the country. And we shall probably enter inside Senate story. We heard the Senate on Tuesday now talk say them go do serious touch lighting on top of the one where BC them alleged them, them no misuse money for inside the management committee of Niger Delta Development Commission. As matters still be, the lawmaker now come out and talk say they want make the management committee to explain how them take spend 40 billion naira within the last three months. Still on top of this matter, them being decided to do the touch lighting after Senator George Sekibo been raised the matter. The IMC has been bought the devil with the same financial misuse, misappropriation, misapplication, sorry, or outright fraud in the management of the funds of the commission. Snake is alarmed that the IMC has inundated itself with undue gross misconduct in the fraudulent contract award without recourse to due processes and flagrant disobedience to the provisions of Section 19 
25, 41, 42 of the Public Procurement Act 2007. Worry that within the last three months, the Commission has spent over 40 billion naira of the Commission's fund without recourse to the established process of funds disbursement, which has opened up further suspicion among stakeholders of the Niger Delta region. As they yarn the matter, Senator Bala Ibn Na Allah, plus including Ajibola Bashiru, then be yarn, and the Senate President, now that's now Ahmed Lawan, he can talk to me then from ad hoc committee for the matter. As a Senate, we already have a committee, the Niger Delta uh, uh, Committee, whose responsibility is to ensure that in its oversight function, the money we have appropriated to Niger Delta Development Commission is appropriately utilized or spent. In this case, sir, we have not received any report from that committee to date indicating that something of this magnitude has happened in the Niger Delta uh, Commission. Now, the consequence of that is this, sir. In view of the fact that we have not received any report from this committee, in view of the fact that the Senate has mandated this committee to be its eye as far as this, the money appropriated to that commission is concerned, they become incapacitated to have our mandate to investigate this matter. If you look at newspapers all over, on the 8th of December 2019, the nation newspaper described NDDC as corruption incorporated. On 18th January 2020, the Minister for Niger Delta described NDDC as cesspool of corruption. Mr. President, it is the duty of the Senate to not only investigate, but to restore the confidence of Nigerians on any arm of government. Mr. President, this motion is apt. It is timely. This one is entitled to so fair hearing within the reasonable time. Looking at the tenor of this uh, motion on its face value as it is, it has made certain far reaching determination and conclusions, even without right to fair hearing being granted in that regard. Specifically, I refer to the last four paragraphs on page 469. One, part of it is that, worried that within the last three months, the Commission has spent over 40 billion naira of the Commission's fund without recourse. No alleged. No, no, the Senate President. No, the question is this, as it is now, if this Senate is taking this motion as drafted, the Senate is a Senate of record. This will be part of the record. I will say that... Uh, Senator Ajibola, I, I, I think, let, let me just... Inter Still on top of the matter, Senate concept of other committee now where BC Senator Olubumi at Dayton B9 will lead the committee to touch light the matter and still report back after four weeks. Still on top of this one where they happen, the plenty allegates where BC did on top of the head of the committee. You know, can't go well with the chairman, that's now Senator Peter Mwabochi. Se Senator Sekibo is a member of the Committee on Niger Data Affairs. And everything he did here was in consonance and in a, with approval of members of this committee. For him to say that unless the, the motion is brought in in the name of the committee, it's a misnomer. And name, motions are not brought in the name of committees. It has never happened in this Senate, and I stand to be correct, unless a report is brought in the name of a committee. Secondly, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. President, because I want this thing to be on record. Not, uh, nothing is uh, anything. Secondly, Mr. President, he went further in the process to say we are stopped. Because the language he was supposed to use is stop. A stop means that we have uh, uh, relegated on our powers or on our functions. That's what, he, that's what it means. That is not correct. 
the period under investigation is three months. If I can, if you can follow the, the motion. Within the period under investigation, we have been, this Senate has been locked. And this is the first time since we went on this that we are taking a motion on the floor of this Senate. The first sitting, we did not take a motion. This is the second, the second sitting in which we are taking a motion. And the members for the ad hoc committee will be said they will report back after four weeks. Now, Senator Jika Haliru, that's now APC Bauchi Central, plus including Tanko Almakura, that's now APC Nasarawa South, and Abdul Fatai Buhari, APC Oyo North, and Chuku Kautazi for PDP Enugu North. Other people now, Ibrahim Hadeja, APC Jigawa North East, plus including Degi Emerenyo, Bio Barakuma, APC Bayosa East. Not new, it's not strange or unusual to have an ad hoc committee even when you have uh, a standing committee. We in this in the Nyan Senate set up ad hoc committees and I recall that in 2011, July 2011, I headed a committee, ad hoc committee to investigate public privatization. But there was a committee on BPE, uh, the Bureau of Public Enterprises at that time, headed by Senator Obadara, Benga Obadara from Ogun. But so, so this is just the workings of the Senate. All that we need to do is to ensure that our, our committees, whether they are ad hoc or standing committees or special committees, do their work within the confines and the regulations of our laws and the standing order. So I want to assure you that nothing uh, impinges on the integrity of the committee or the members or you as a, as a person. And for inside another story, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, that's now NCDC, they don't come out to confirm 145 new cases of COVID-19 for inside the country. And the total number of infections now don't reach 2,950. Inside these new cases where they just discovered, Lagos gets 43 new cases. White Kano gets 32. Other states where we see them get Nazamfara with 14 new cases. FCT gets 10 new cases. Then Casino State can get 9. Taraba gets 7. Boronu gets 6. Ogun and Oyo State can get five, while Edo, Kaduna, and Bauchi State get three cases. And two cases now can be inside Adamawa and Gumbi State, while Plateau, Sokoto, and Kebi get one new case. NCDC can see and see the total number of patients where they said don't discharge. Now 481, and 98 people now don't die. We shall probably move from that to re enter inside the next one. The University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital, now that's now UPTH, we hear say if it's now they do tests for coronavirus, plus including to isolate and treat patients. This one now, now the first testing center for inside River State since where BC COVID-19 enter inside the country for inside February. As the chief medical director for UPTH, that's now Henry Uboma been walk around the treatment center yesterday. He can talk to them fit expand the hospital if they get more cases of COVID-19 for inside the state. The head of the respiratory and infectious disease Unit that's now Datonye Alessia. It come out contours the COVID 19 testing and treatment center. It don't make more room for more testing so that the state now feed the test more people. Our Tory person come out come report say this testing center gets now two story building and it gets 14 bed space. The report still come out come still talk say the testing. Testing kits being day the center, plus including three ventilators. Now the provost for College of Health Science for inside University of Port Harcourt, that's now Iyopu. Now he come out to commission the hospital on behalf of the UPTH board chairman, that's now Mukhtar Ahmed Ankar. And we enter for inside another tourie. We have say one shop where we see them they sell gas for inside carousite for inside FCT. It been catch fire as gas cylinder explode after 6 p.m. on Tuesday evening. People where we see them day there when the fire been happened, they come out come talk say the fire been born electric pole where they near the shop. And they say talk say the fire service now been come there 20 minutes after we say the fire had already start. Then talk say nobody been died for inside the fire, but they see say ambulance been dead there. They say come out come talk say they no been fit reach the owner of the shop will be sunny as they be try to call him. And for inside another tour for FCT, we have say some market people now for inside FCT don't come out from the back federal government to add an another two days for the days where BC them approve for them to the open market. Some of the traders now for inside Cardo Fish Market can tell our tour person will be a good national to talk say the two days for inside one week where BC government give them say no good day enough to them to take sell their market because most of the things where BC them they sell now things where BC fit spoil we get expiry dates. Remember say FCTA approved two days inside one 
one week for markets to open for business. And for inside another story where we still carry on, Minister of Health, that's now Dr. Osagi Ehanwe, he don't come out now and tell House of Representatives, say President Mamadou Bari administration, they very open to the possibility now of using local helps to take fight COVID-19. But in the insist, say the Nigerian Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development must first confirm any of those medicines. Ogai Henry announced this one when the presidential tax force for COVID-19 be the young with members of the House of Representatives. In Sikom at they talk, say no day good for hospitals to they tell patients to go back, sick of the fear of coronavirus. And still on top matter of coronavirus, we hear Katina State Governor, that's now Aminu Masari, he don't come out now and give us that same them totally lock down Malum Fashi local government area of the state. Secretary to the state government, that's now Mustafa Inua, now come out and announce this one for Insight of Paper on Tuesday. Okay, Inua come out now and say the lockdown will start by 7 a.m. on Thursday, will be May 7th, 2020. Insight come out and say the lockdown and sake of see some people for inside the area don't test positive to the disease. You know, and now come out when they want to make the people of Malumfashi local government area obey all the other way, be say, a day ground. Sake of say, they don't give security people the order to deal with people now, where be say, they no go obey the other way, day ground. And still on top of this matter, Governor Amin Nubelu Masari now don't come out, can still give order, say, make them close down Baba Moton weekly market for inside Bauri local government from this week. He come out now on the advice people, say make them follow all the guidelines from health and security experts to prevent the spread of coronavirus. He see come out on the talk, say make casino people use this Ramadan period to pray for coronavirus to end for inside the state and for the whole world. And still on top matter of COVID-19, we have some COVID-19 patients now don't come out on stage while we know go be worker for Federal Teaching Hospital for inside Gombe, and they don't destroy some equipment now for the part of the hospital where BC them been day inside. The patients them now been where BC them been quarantined, they been come out when they complain say they know they treat them well for inside the hospital. And as the protests they been they go on for inside the hospital, some COVID-19 patients now for inside Guadon Isolation Center for inside the Yama to Deba local government area of Gombe State. Then we enter street and still come out when they talk say they know they treat them well. Then block road now for inside Gombe Bureau Road and some of them come out from the isolation center while other people been go back to the isolation center. And we come out from inside that to re-enter another one. The bill on top control of infectious disease bill 2020, where they cause plenty of trouble, we had a past second reading for inside House of Representatives last week, and then don't introduce them, carry go seen it. Still on top of the matter, the bill where we say Enugu not seen it, so that's Nachuku Kautazi being the sponsor. Sponsor, it come under different title, and that's the National Health Emergency Bill 2020. You see, what I want to tell you is that uh, this bill, I have started working on this bill for over two months now. You know, so over two, over, over, over two, over two months we have been on this issue, you know, trying to make sure this is so. I got this bill, I forwarded it to the, uh, the Minister of Health, I forwarded it to the NCDNC, NCDC, I forwarded it to uh, the Attorney General uh, of the Professional Office, to look at all those things over two months, you know, they were, um, that I heard that the House of Reps is there. It's just a new thing. I have been on working on this thing for a long time now. As the matter still be, another Enugu senator, that's Naik Ekwere Madu, he been kicked against them. After I be say pass first reading, Oga Ekwere Madu now been asked for the photocopy of the bill, where I be say come make the Senate President Ahmed Lawan to talk to me the Kuku Sheram for all the senators. The Senate President now come talk to them, go take the second reading for inside next week, Tuesday. I'm entitled to know possibly the details of any bill being presented in this Senate through the distribution of the Gazette. This bill has all been read now. I would like to know the details and possibly receive a Gazette copy. And I'm sure those of my colleagues who would like to see the bill also want to have copies as well. Recall that we have a controversial bill in the House of Reps that has to do with the Quarantine uh, Act Amendment. So I want to sure that we don't go the same route that's happening in the House of Reps. So I'd like to know the details, probably a summary of what this bill is all about, or possibly get a copy of the gazetted uh, uh, form of this particular bill, so that I'll be sure of what it's all about. They enable me to prepare my response, or possibly my contributions to this bill when it comes up for second reading. Thank you. 
And sharply we move inside another story where BC will still carry come. The National Council for Women's Societies, that's now NCWS, they come at con the squeeze face on top of the one where BC federal government now release some prisoners from some correctional centers now for inside the country. And the women no follow for the people where BC then been released. The national talk person for NCWS, that's now Sophia Ogo, now come at con the raise this alarm for this matter on Tuesday when the Society Committee Against COVID-19, that's now so COVID, been visited the correct Center for Inside Suleja for Ninja State to release some prisoners for inside there. She said, Come at Conde to say, even women now they very exposed to and they fit catch coronavirus. She said, Come the young say, need day for federal government to sharply process the release of some of them. As the matter still be, before them being go release five prisoners, the national coordinator of SoCovid, that's now Kenneth Ibekalo, he come at Conde talk say, This one where BC them do. He follow for waiting President Buhari Bin Yan when he been talks, he made them reduce the number of people with inside prison, sick of the spread of COVID-19. And for inside another story where we say we carry come, Governor Ab Abdullah Hisuli now don't come out on the talk. That's not the governor of Nasarawa State. It don't come out on the talk, say one more case of COVID-19 and they get for inside the state. As in they announced this one, give to real people for stakeholders review meeting for inside government house for Lafia on Tuesday. Governor Suli talks, say the patients now, they do work with a Nigeria Center for Disease Control. I mean, being they take treatment for Federal Medical Center for inside cafe. In come out, say the patients now, na person where BC come from Nasarawa State, and in daily for inside Ado for Karu, local government area of the state. Governor Sule come out, come talk, say the patients been catch the disease, as him been they do him work. This one now come make a total number of 12 people will get COVID-19 for inside the state. And inside the 12 people, the one patient, na member of Nasarawa State House of Assembly, will been die last week. And for inside another story where we say we still carry come, on Tuesday now, the Senate don't come out contact in each day for community policing. And then a part of the ways now to take address security wahala for inside the country. This is a part of the sense talk where we say Senate ad hoc committee on top Nigerian security challenge being carry come. Where we say then can consider, can approve for inside their meeting on Tuesday. The Senate now can tell federal government to tell the Ministry of Police Affairs and Inspector General of Police to immediately implement the community policing plan and make them involve local stakeholders plus in for grassroots and traditional rulers. This is now some of the story where we say we carry come. We still get business and sports. No go anywhere. <music> For inside business story, Nigeria don't receive $3.4 billion emergency money from the International Monetary Fund. As Matabi, federal government talks to them go use the money where we say they will get the executive board of IMF go approve under rapid financing instrument for April 28 to solve the problem where we say COVID-19 they cause for inside the economy for the country. IMF Managing Director, that's now Kristalina Georgievia, now come at they talk say they don't send $3.4 billion into Central Bank of Nigeria account. The IMF chief still come at they talk say may them not do any form of uruuru as they go manage the money. Make we check within the first spot. And for inside sports story, the German Bundesliga season now fit start inside this month. And we hear seen our Chancellor Angela Merkel nine come out now come confirm this one. And they thought this will be the first major league for Europe to start competition. And a German football league with it will be deep FL. Nine will confirm the date where we see them will start on Thursday. This is now auditory where we carry come give you. But before we go, make we still remind you of all the talk to read them this evening. We been tell you say plane where carry people they come Nigeria don't go back to Dubai as one woman been day labor. Federal government now don't form committee to work out piloting for the media and creative industry. And Nigerian airports now go still day closed for additional four weeks. And CDC don't confirm 2,950 cases of COVID-19 for inside Nigeria. This is now all the story as it take happen and my name is Adati Omukwe. Good evening.